Oh, so I wanted to show you a couple of the things I have planned for the hand-painted items, the Bibles and journals. So I did get this beautiful Abide Bible, and it comes with the green cloth of a board, so this makes a perfect canvas. This Bible is so perfect to paint on because of the artwork throughout this Bible. I mean, what more do you want from to get a um, inspiration from your Bible reading than a Bible that has beautiful illustrations? I mean, look at this. I may have to keep one of these for myself. If I'm going to hand paint something on this, and I'll tell you a little bit how I do that, but just to give you an idea of the Bibles that I'm getting, these Bibles, this is a new King James Version, nice large print, it's like 9.5 font, so it's nice and readable, and the, just the artwork that they've put throughout this Bible, you can see that, really is inspirational to follow along while you read. Where's my favorite one? That I absolutely adore. Let's see. There's Van Gogh. But look at this one. Oh my God. Isn't that beautiful? This is Jesus, my Lord, my God, my all. By George Henry Grenville Manton. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? To look at that and then read. And this Bible is absolutely amazing. So there's journaling, there's space, there's contemplations, there's praying scriptures along the sides. So this is how I do it. I get a cloth overboard, and this is one of the journals. I'm also going to paint journals. This is a little yellow cloth over linen, and there's some kefir on here that I'm going to tape off. But I first gesso it with white, white gesso. Then I sandpaper it to give it, you know, that little bit of teeth. I draw what I want on that. This is going to be a tree of life with birds coming out. It's going to be very, very colorful. But that's how, how I do it. I first gesso the cover. And this is my first rendition of a dove. And this is my, my own art journal that I've had quite a while and I, you know, used to just do my own art, but that's how you do it. You put the gesso, then you paint, and then you put a little bit of medium to cover to protect, and I may do this painting again. I Also, I have ideas of doing beautiful landscapes. I may do the crucifixion again on a Bible, and I've got a few versions so that Everybody, if you don't like the New King James, I think I've got Beautiful Word Bible, which is an NLT or the NIV. And I have ordered a CSB, an Encouraged Devotional, which is another beautiful Bible that's coming. That also has gray cloth that I'll be able to paint on. So I'm really excited to offer these for you. As an artist, I'm always trying to connect my own spiritual life, my art, share that, use it in a way that keeps me motivated, keeps me feeling like I'm doing what I'm made to do. I feel like this is part of my mission here, is to use my art in a way that helps other people, inspires other people in your writing, in your reading, in your art. So thank you so much for watching this. I'm sure if I have the light on this very well. <laughs> I didn't set up my lighting here quite right. But thank you so much. Have a an amazing, beautiful day. Bye-bye.